Hello, my name is Katarina Grunastai. I'm the director of the film Stop Zemlya. It is honored to be on Jeonju Festival again this year. Um, last year, uh, we had our film there in the contest, in the competition, and uh, yeah, it was unfortunately that I couldn't come because of the COVID pandemic. But now, um, again, I can come because of the war in Ukraine. Um, I'm not situation situated in Kyiv. I decided to stay at home because this is my home country and this is my home city and I really want for Ukraine to stand and to be here while it's all happening. Um, um, I don't know, maybe you're wondering why the war is still going on. It's already a month uh, that all this situation is going on and why don't we surrender to um, uh, to keep our city safe and to, to keep our people alive and um, yeah because this terrible thing that's happening in other Ukrainian cities in Kyiv it's mm, more or less safe it's not safe completely yes but it's safe but it's not safe in Chernihiv, Kharkiv and Mariupol it's humanitarian catastrophe there and people are dying from hunger um, from bombs that are from that are just shelled on their heads and uh, yeah, this is the terror that uh, was held by, like, that is held by Russian Federation. And uh, um, yeah, I, I don't think that we have any other case just to stand and to fight for our independence and for our state, because this is just our country and we want it to be free from any other country. And uh, this is complete invasion of our country. I really um, couldn't believe that it would be happening and now in 21 century so like, like this was this this just this just not right but yeah it's happening and uh, we're facing it. Um, the film that you're about to see is called Stop Zemlya and this is the film that was shot uh, two years ago um, uh, and I was mm, uh, so now people, a lot of people are saying now that this is the portrayal of the uh, peaceful life of Ukrainian teenagers that they had before the war. But I really want you to watch this film not as the portrait picture from the past, but something that would be uh, in future. And I believe that this would be in our near future. Um, future of Ukrainian teenagers that are speaking Ukrainian language, listen to Ukrainian music in Ukrainian independent state. And uh, um, I really want this film to be now a futuristic film. Uh, when the war would be over, when we will be win, when we win this war, uh, we will rebuild our cities and our schools. Actually, the schools are really uh, bombed a lot by Russia that now. Um, yeah, because they try to destroy not the some kind of military objects, but destroy culture and destroy people from Ukraine. It's it's some kind of genocide. So yeah, I hope that when it's all will be over and will be win, that the future of Ukraine and Ukrainian teenagers will be looking like our film. So um, keep that in mind while watching, and thank you for having us at the festival. Um, thank you.